Fractal Design is giving consumers a lot of choices when it comes to simple and elegant cases at an affordable price. Their latest addition to the Defiant series is the R4. It brings plenty of useful upgrades from the very popular R3 case and at just over $100 you get plenty of options. So let's take a look. The front panel with its reflective aluminum looking surface should automatically ring Fractal Design. They have been very consistent throughout the entire lineup and rightfully so. It is elegant, clean and also functional. It opens just past 90 degrees which could be a problematic but unfortunately it cannot be switched to be opened from the other side which is a bummer. The door is covered in noise dampening foam and so are the side panels uh, to really silent your rig. And next up we have two optical bay covers that are easily removable and below that another panel that covers the front intake fans. Now notice the panel just pulls down which makes accessing the fan bracket a lot easier. The bracket itself removes with ease just by pulling down on this one clip and this is a very smart way of integrating front intake which can easily be reassembled for cleaning and replacement of the fans. Now the bracket does have a built-in dust filter uh, and supports both 120 and 140mm fans. The bigger fan is held in with clips, but you will have to mount the smaller one with the screws. The sides of the front panel have uh, plenty of venting, however there is plenty of resistance, so you should not be expecting optimal airflow from the front. And also an extra addition would be this 3-speed fan controller, uh, which supports for 3 fans. So let's check out the connections at the top, we get our power and reset buttons, audio jacks and 4 USB ports. And continuing with the top, we have two fan mounts for both 120 and 140mm fans and they come with noise dampening panels pre-installed. Now for many users, a single exhaust fan at the back is not gonna cut it, so utilizing the top exhaust slots will drastically improve your cooling potential. However, we still don't have this uh, hybrid system between silence and airflow, so you will have to choose between either of the options. And the case comes with pre-installed rubber feet, which is always nice. You will avoid scratching the floor and prevent any unnecessary operational noise. And looking at the back, we get our usual seam with the exhaust fan, IO area, 7 PCI slots and one additional vertical one for mounting accessories, and a dual dust filter for the bottom. So what does the inside look like? Uh, well, let's find out. And first on the list are the two optical drives uh, and we do miss the Tula system. Next is the module hard drive cage that can be either removed or rotated simply with the two thumb screws. It is a very simple solution and that is functional and hassle free. The drive brackets are also not toolless, but nevertheless work very well, incorporating rubber grommets and 2.5 inch drive support as well. And a single 140mm exhaust fan is included, so if you are planning on keeping your system cool, adding those top fans would not hurt. And another fan mount is available at the bottom, supporting both 120 and 140mm mounts, uh, clearance of which would depend on the length of your power supply, so anything up to 170mm will still have clearance for both mounts. And coming around to the back, we have a decently large CPU cutout, it could be larger, and uh, also plenty of cable tie notches to clean up all your cables during assembly. Also available are these mounting cutouts for two SSDs. Now it's quite common to mount your SSDs right behind the motherboard tray, but perhaps using Velcro would be a little bit easier, uh, simply because removing one drive would require you to remove the entire motherboard, and that could introduce a lot of hassle into your build. Now there's a lot of room to work with when it comes to your graphics cards, even with the cage installed our 11.5 inch card fit in just fine and sort of that is the maximum clearance you can get without removing the hard drive cage. And so everything in place, the Define R4 handles very well as a silent slash enthusiast enclosure. It is user friendly during assembly and cleans up very well both on the inside and at the back. The module cage system is pretty clever and is absolutely hassle free with the two thumb screws. Support for long GPUs is sort of a must for a case of this caliber and most of you should not have any clearance issues even with the hard drive cage installed. Now the silent component does add value for those who are looking for a silent build. 
However, as was the case with XL and XLR2, there is no hybrid between airflow or silence. It would be awesome to see some sort of system for the top exhaust that could integrate a silent solution without compromising airflow. But the new R4 is one top-notch case and we're giving it the Hard Rock Canucks damn good award. So thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the review and we'll see you in the next one.